Hey guys, I'm here again. Um, I'm doing this kind of like cooking slash eating slash I don't know, random stuff. If you watch the movie Parasite, and if you haven't, please, please check it out. The whole thing about it, it's about like this lower class family and a rich class family and just you see a lot of bizarre, funny, comical slash dark things going on. But I'm making a dish that they had um, during the movie. In the scene with uh, Mrs. Park, she asked Mrs. Kim to create this like weird noodle dish called Ramdong. They're like, what's Ramdong? It's actually like a real dish in Korea. It's not like a real, real kind of dish. It's kind of like this instant type of meal everyone makes and people call it japaguri. What japaguri is, is a mix between japaguri and uh, nuguri. Both of them are just like instant noodle packs. Nuguri is a spicy udon type of dish and uh, japaguri is kind of like this uh, black bean, uh, kind of like jajimyeon type of kind of thing. You could find it in your Asian grocery store or like H-Mart. They all have it uh, really cheap. So like with what's a little different with Parasite is they add steak on top of the dish. The dish is actually a social commentary of how japaguri is like an instant type of meal. Um, it's a commoner's meal. So adding the steak on top of the meal is supposed to show like just how they want to create this dish into more extravagant and even the, I guess, the theme we have of the rich and the poor at the bottom. Yeah, I won't be doing a steak. Um, yeah, because, you know, I'm a commoner, so, you know, whatever. Let's get cooking. When we're cooking, you need a pot to, you know, cook the noodles and stuff, so add some... Sorry, my kitchen's super messy. You, uh, turn on the heat. Uh, just wait till it boils up. Yep, you got it. So with these new packets, uh, you have these noodles, but they have all these, like, soup-based type of things. It's Joppa Goody, they have like, this oil. We're not gonna use this oil, so we'll put this on the side. They have... Uh, these like little dried up vegetables and the powder. Same thing with the nuguri. You got the dried up vegetables, you got the powder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the powder uh, stuff, the base, and we're gonna put this on the side. Um, we're gonna use it for later. So with the boiling water here, uh, we're just gonna put uh, the noodles and the vegetables. The noodles fit into the pot like this too. But another quick way of cooking this, you can also break it in half. And do the little mess noodles. Everything's gonna be really messy, guys. I'm trying my best with one hand. This is a one hand cooking challenge. <laughs> one hand cooking challenge. Put the noodles in and then use the dried up vegetables. All in. I put a lot of water, but it doesn't really matter because, um, you can be draining all of this, so don't worry too much about the measurement of the water. You can use whatever material you want to stir this with. I'm going to use chopsticks. Stir everything in, make sure everything's going to be like evenly cooked. If you want, you can also check the back of how long it's going to take to cook. So this says it's about five minutes. I'm just gonna feel through. I'm a type of person with the comes to noodles. I don't like it when it's too soggy. I like it when it's a little bit crunchy. Oh, it smells really good. You have to like drain the water out. Um, and not too much of the water. I'm gonna use like a drainer here to, uh, you know, remove some of the water. But with this, um, save some of the water because it's gonna, you're gonna need a little bit of the soup texture for the noodles. So save a little bit of this gunky water. So I have to do this on off camera because I am using one hand and I can't do it with one hand, so BRB. Okay, I'm back. Sorry guys, I had to drain the water. So what's kind of nice about this dish is like get the spicy kick from the nuggety and you kind of get this like bitter like heavy taste from the japagaiti in a way. So you know, it's kind of nice. So I have these little tongues here and then I'm going to just put it, oh god. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the dish. Okay, I'm going to try my best guys. I'm using my one hand. <laughs> one hand challenge. Oh man. 
one hand cooking challenge where okay guys so we're kind of done look at the steaminess <laughs> that's pretty much what it is really easy and simple i'm gonna just be eating this <laughs> I made it a little soggier than I wanted. I'm kind of upset with that, but um, yeah. Okay. So what it tastes like, it's like just like a spicier version of japagetti. Good meal to have for you know, on the go, um, but it's uh, such a, it's, it's huge. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. I think it's a good dish to share with some friends. Um, I, you know, I don't think I could really finish this whole thing by myself. If you guys haven't watched it, please, please, please check out Parasite. Really great film. Maybe I could do like a mukbang challenge of Japa Goody or something. I don't know. Oh, and this is a, a little update. Uh, so uh, this week I went to Anime NYC. Really, really, really fun. It was so big and uh, it was so, so much amazing cosplays and amazing artist alley booths. I think it really inspired me and I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little jealous. But you know, it really did inspire me to just like really push myself. I'm hoping that I could just put more content here. Um, and you know, do more like art related projects and focus really on it. It's, it's tough, it's been tough lately, you guys. It's not it's not easy, but you know, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. So, yeah, I'll see you guys around.